I'm Nigel. And I'm Brad. And together, we're on a quest to uncover the grassroots innovation that makes Australia a very clever nation. Ingenious Oz is touring the Northern Territory, where remote locations and tough conditions bring out incredible creativity in all sorts of people. Tell you what, I could use a shower. I know. What do you mean by that? Well, I thought it was a dead kangaroo. From April to October in Catherine, you can get a taste of the inner workings of an outback cattle station. From horse and dog training to stories and songs. So we're off to meet Tom and Annabelle at the Catherine Outback Experience to hear a great story of resilience and having a go. I think it was about grade six on the TV, I'd seen all about Northern Territory cattle stations. And so all I wanted to do from grade six on was, was to get up here. So there was something about the animals that really drew me up here in the wide open spaces. And so I headed up here about 2001 and I just went straight into the stock camp, mustering cattle every day. There was no TV, radio or phone, sleeping in a swag every night. And every day I was on the back of a horse and the hoof beats became a drum beat and these songs came into my head. And I'd never written a song in my life, and so I just started writing them down on bits of paper in my pocket. And eventually another old guy gave me an old guitar and he showed me three chords. And every night time I'd sit around the campfire trying to practice. Having mastered those three chords and with a couple of original songs under his belt, Tom entered a singing competition and won. Next up, the Tamworth Country Music Festival. We met Garth Porter and then he said, listen, how about we do an album? So we did the first one called Smack Bang and it's all about being smack bang in the middle of the territory. And I wrote it and yeah, somehow we released it and it somehow went to number one on the Australian Country Music Charts. At the same time as I was doing the music, I was travelling around horse breaking. And um, yeah, as a kid, we were always taught the old style of breaking in horses with hobbles around their feet. And um, But it was just very slow going. I was only doing about three horses a day. So I kept experimenting with all the psychology. And um, after a couple of years, I went out on my own contract horse breaking through the top end. And I was going from cattle station to cattle station every two to three weeks, breaking in between 10 and 14 horses just by using a different method. Because the travelling was sort of taking its toll, like always on the road. Yeah. So the yeah. idea was to base yourself here in Catherine and then instead of going to all the stations, the stations would send their horses yeah. to here. And then just when things looked like they were going really well, the live export cattle ban brought the Northern Territory economy to its knees, affecting everyone from cattle ranchers to hairdressers. Tom went from busy to virtually nothing overnight. I just went, gee, we've got to um, yeah, really think outside the box. So I started up yeah, singing four nights a week at the caravan parks to try to yeah, get extra money in. And yeah, it wasn't until those people at the caravan parks, I was singing my songs and telling a few stories, and then they said, look, can we come out and see what you're doing every day? Because I think it's pretty interesting. So they used to come out and they'd see us training horses. We'd have a pretty wild horse in the yard, we've got to try to catch it, um, saddle it, ride it for the first time. Often we get bucked off, you know, yeah. but um, people could see it was real. Encouraged by the caravan park interest, Tom followed his gut and decided to launch the Outback Experience as a regular show. I'd open the gate three shows a week and one person would come on two people um, often no one. My mates were up me saying, look, Tom, after a few months, it's not going to work, you know. And so I painted up this old bit of tin and um, he did too. Catherine Outback experience because I couldn't afford any signs and I drove 30k, <laughs> 30k out each way on the highway and I put in steel pickets. And the council got up me and they said, listen, mate, you can't really do that. So I said, no worries, you've got to take them down. So I said, no worries. So I took them down, but I took them out another 100k until they got up me again. And then I used to walk the caravan parks handing out flyers. Did you ever think maybe my mates are right, walking these caravan parks is difficult, bit harder? Too stubborn. I'm just going to go and do something. Did, did, did that ever cross your mind? It was a battle and they didn't mind just, you know, digging into me saying, mate, I think, you know, you're barking up the wrong tree. Being a born optimist and not being afraid of hard work, Tom figured he was training horses and dogs anyway, whether he did it for two people or a hundred. 
and so he kept practicing for the day that it was 100. And so these days, you know, we're doing 10 or 12 shows a week, seven months of the year. We're just flat out. And, this is only uh, like five years down the track. Right? Yeah. How many people come on average to a show now? In peak season, we were getting 140 people a day. So you're taking the show on the road? Yeah, so we're going to go for three months on the road with the truck, horses and dogs and the music gear. I think it's over 60 shows, but we're also um, dropping into a lot of schools, raising the speak up, anti-bullying message as well. Tom's down-to-earth and big-hearted approach to work and life seems to resonate with all sorts of audiences. You know, there is something out here that really got into my system um, that inspired me. There's people, the landscapes, and the work ethic up here, you know, the never give up attitude. And a lot of my songs are pretty passionate songs about Australia, but also, um, you know, the drive or the motivation that keeps me ticking. Combined all the passions to make it that's, into something. That's exactly right. You've got to try to find your truth in life, you know, your obligation. What are you actually here for? last 12 months have been insane for us. So um, we did win the Tourism NT Business Growth Award. Thanks so much, have a great night, good on you. And then you released your album, and it debuted at number one on the Australian iTunes Country Music Charts. And then we went on to win two golden guitars at this year's Tamworth Country Music Festival, which is pretty special. And then last Saturday, you won Australian Independent Country Music Artist of the Year. Seriously? and male vocalist, album and single of the year. I think I've got to be lucky. You got lucky.